Hello, welcome back everyone. I am your amigo Pratap Rao. I've been obsessed about time and I always think about time and timing. And I think every one of us are trapped in time. The year back I also made a video about time. You can click here to watch it or you can watch it later. Link in the description below. Where I talked about how time works in general. And after a year, now I discovered the three types of time. Or I just got to know about it now. Okay now, should I tell you all three at once? or one by one let's go with one by one otherwise you're not going to watch my full videos isn't it first in a row is chronological time and it's also called the ordinary time because it's made up thing and agreed by society because it's so logical and reasonable where you can calculate day by dividing 24 hours and hours into minutes and minutes into seconds and it's fairly acceptable and that someone just found out that earth is rotating the sun in 365 days although it looks so nice and sound scientific but it's not real enough for some people so all the religions who found out their own time and they are following them okay let's not make this so complicated to understand in one word, chronological time means clock time. It's needed, otherwise whole society will fall apart. There has to be something which is common to all of us, just like money. In modern world, if you don't have money and time, man loses his existence or other way around. In fact, chronological time is a social byproduct. Through this, we all created the expression like tea time, lunch time and dinner time. The lunch time means the hunger time. You have to be hungry. Otherwise, there is something wrong with you. You must visit a doctor. I think most of the people really don't know what do you mean by hunger because we don't eat when we are hungry or we don't drink when we are thirsty. Because of that, we see a lot of fat people around. You guys are just fucked up this whole biological system. Speaking of biology, second type of time is biological time. The biological clock within you. I think women knows this best. The women are more altered than men because their body functions like an inner clock. Uh, like after every 20 days menstruation comes. You may see some people are getting old very early. I mean in biological sense. People get dull and ill and gets lots of grey hair like me. Can you see that? I have uh, lots of grey hair. I'm getting it day by day, one by one. I'm not dull and ill but I am, I'm getting grey hairs. I'm old. On the other hand, the people like Anil Kapoor and Tom Cruise, they look like my age. Am I okay? Yes, I, I think so. Biological time, it's an inner clock, sends the time towards the body by the nature based on your body frequency. Let's move on to the third, the very personal time called psychological time. Psychological time is different for each one of us. You have yours, your wife has hers and your children has theirs. That's why husband is always honking and wife is always coming when you both are plan to go out for a cinema. What is really happening is a conflict, the conflict between two psychological time. Husband is worry on time by thinking about the missing the show and the wife is very choosy on time by being very concerned about how she looks. But cinema is in chronological time. It doesn't bother about if a husband come by car or wife wears the expensive sari. On the other hand, if you take into consideration of child in this play, the child expression will be like, what the hell is happening? Because child is in biological time. Child is just learning how to walk and how to have food, how to take shit and cry in the middle of the night without any reason. Psychological time is a more of a mind over matter thing. It changes like a weather. If you feel happy, you may feel like time is moving faster. If you feel sad, you may feel like time moving very slow. In psychological time, inner environment is very important. Like your feelings and emotions and your all thoughts are very important. So these are the three types of time I got in this video. I think there are so much to discuss about time. In one point, knowing the time is beyond our knowledge and on the other end, through this science and mystic thinking, there is a possibility where we can learn and discover more about time and the process of time. Everything I get to know about time, I'm very happy to share you all in this channel. If you like this video, please subscribe and I have so much to tell you all. Till then, peace out.